Well, 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 ZeniMax has outdone itself this weekend. A surprise celebration is going on in-game that was just kind of snuck onto the website for Elder Scrolls Online. And in this celebration, you can receive double XP from all sources, double drops from Harvest Nodes, and double gold. So in this video, I'm going to explain to you all you need to know about this celebration, including the best places to farm, how to set your character up for success for that, best methods of XP gain, and all details regarding the celebration. And again, you can always ask me questions at my Twitch streams on Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on twitch.tv slash probably got this, and you can join our Discord and guilds for help as well. The link to the Twitch and the Discord is in the description. And lastly, thank you to all my patrons. If you'd like to become a patron, make sure to check out the benefits in the description. So they are calling this the Explorers Celebration. This is going to run from tomorrow, November 12th at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time and last only until November 16th on Monday at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm assuming that they are doing it for this weekend only just because of mainly Call of Duty coming out this Friday and Assassin's Creed Valhalla coming out this past Tuesday. And so maybe... Maybe Zoss is trying to give you all a little incentive to not play the newest Call of Duty just yet, or not finish the Assassin's Creed game as well. Very clever marketing idea, and I'm not complaining one bit, because we are going to get some solid perks for playing this weekend. The perks are as follows. Double drops from Harvest Nodes, not fishing by the way, which kind of feels bad on that man, but... You're going to get double XP gains from every source, so you know what that means. This will stack with other XP boosts, such as XP scrolls or group multipliers, so you could use a 50% or a 100% or a 150% scroll and apply that with the training armor XP trait and with group uh, of two multiplier XP boosts for generous XP gains. And also, if you don't have XP scrolls, you can use the ambrosias, which are effectively the same thing as XP scrolls, but you can't stack ambrosias with XP scrolls. Keep that in mind, y'all. Not only are you going to get double XP and double resource gain, you will get double gold earned from monster kills, quest rewards, and similar sources. So if you haven't checked out my new Markarth gold stealing loop guide, Check that out. It is in the description and it will give you double the gold return during this weekend. Another great thing about this event, you don't need to have ESO Plus. You don't need to have any specific DLCs or expansions. They said these bonuses are available to all players in any zone in Tamriel, including the Markarth zones, the Reach, and the Arc Thin Sand Caverns. But I do want to mention that this is not an event because events give event tickets. That can be used for Endric variations and many other things. They said that this will not give tickets and the Impress Aria will not be in the game for this one. There's also not quests, achievements, or collectibles that you can earn with this event uniquely. So let's talk about though how you can set your character up to farm efficiently and some of the best places to utilize this weekend. Now, I'm going to do a resource farming build very soon in the channel, but I want to give you all some tips on what you can do with your character to boost your resource farming effectiveness. And leave a comment below, y'all, any other tips that you could give any other players for resource farming or gold stealing or anything like that. I'd love to see it in the comments. First thing you can do is switch your character's Moon to Stone to the Steed. This increases your movement speed by a significant chunk. In my case, it's 16%. You can change this anywhere in the base zone where the Steed Moon to Stones are at. The best race to do this on is the Wood Elf or the Orc. The Orc will give you faster sprinting and the Wood Elf will give you stamina and stamina recovery. I personally like the Wood Elf better. The next thing you can do is put on the Jailbreaker set from Banished Cells. This gives loads of stamina and stam recovery and gives minor expedition at all times, increasing movement speed by 15%. And if you have it, grab the Ring of the Wild Hunt. This allows you to have 45% movement speed outside of combat. This already gives you an insane speed boost and you don't even need to sprint. And another thing you can do is if you are CP levels is go to the lover tree and put points into the lover tree until you have 120 points in there. That's like the green side of the champion point tree. You want to get the plentiful harvest, which gives 10% chance to yield double resources, master gatherer, which reduces your gathering time by 50%, and when running, which gives 2% speed boost for movement speed and mounted speed. Also, rapid maneuver from the PvP line is also really good for speed boost while running or mounting. And I don't have the rapid maneuver morph. I've got the other one. The reason I have the other one is it allows you to keep sprinting when things shoot you from behind. That's like something really, really nice. So I put that one on. It's like the red one. So check that one out. Um, you, you can still use the other one, but the red one is nice as well. And I normally don't tell you to put points into Kenai in the crafting trees first, but if you farm resources, 
you can put them into those skill nodes if you've got some extra skill points because these will help you see the resource nodes from farther away and it's really really nice so this is something again i don't normally tell you to do that but uh when you're farming resources it's a nice thing to have and the last thing i want to tell you guys about is making sure you have auto loot on when you're looting your resource nodes go into the settings go to gameplay and go to items and put auto loot on and you can also uh, make it to where the loot goes automatically into your craft bag. So make sure to go turn that setting on. Now, the best place to farm resources are typically smaller zones. The best one would be Artaeum in the Somerset Expansion DLC. This is accessed by doing the Somerset quest line up to a point where you can get access to the area, which I believe is after the second quest. This is the smallest zone and fastest place to farm. Other notable zones are Hude's Bane, Gold Coast, and starter zones like Betnik, Canarty's Roost, and Balfoyen. Those starter zones are very small, and they are really, really solid to farm resources at. But with these speed boosts, you really can go to any zone and just zip around and get resources really quickly. It, it's just, it's insane when you have these speed boosts. Now, for double XP, some good methods include, but aren't limited to, doing your random dungeons and battlegrounds each day, doing Alakir Dolmens, and these are great generally because it's double XP on kills and from getting the Dolmen completion, also, doing Witches Festival Ritz or New Life Festival Ritz by buying them from guild traders will allow you to have an insane amount of XP from doing these. This, The best place to do this is Vivek in, in Morrowind or Vardenfell. I figured out that that is actually quicker than doing them in Alinor and Somerset. But you buy these Ritz for around 5 to 7k on guild traders. And if you have XP boost active, you will gain insane XP in less than like 20 seconds per Ritz. You can also have multiple ones in inventory, in your inventory and craft all of those at once. And then you can accept the quest one by one because you can't accept multiple quests of those at a time, but you can just do them and then accept the quest, stand by the turning box, turn it in, accept another quest. You have it already crafted, turn that one into the next box. It will give you insane XP. You can also run Skyreach and Spellscar in Craglorn. But that is it, y'all. I hope this helps you all out, and I'm generally very excited for this and quite surprised. I would love if Zenimax did something like this once a month. I think it could really be cool to have more of these double XP weekends. I think that would bring a decent number of players back as well. But if you like this, make sure to like, subscribe, heavy attack that bell icon to stay up to date on when we release new content. Make sure to check us out on uh, Twitter at Brawby Got This. You can check out our website at BrawbyGotThis.com. You can also come and watch me play live again at twitch.tv slash BrawbyGotThis, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. The link is in the description. And you can join our Discord and guilds. The link to Discord is in the description. But until next time, y'all, just remember to have faith, be great, and I'll see you on ESO.